I still get the creeps from going over the broken bridge because of my motorcycle accident. It was pretty fucked like I got hit right where that the first white arrow sign is. And I flipped over the handlebars and I remember being upside down right over here. I smacked down on the road and then I just slid for like 180 feet. And I slid all the way to those green signs and smacked into the, the barrels there. And you still have a motorcycle. And I still have a motorcycle. <laughs> Mmm. That's a whole land? Yeah. Minus the wool. My name is Seamus Mullen. I'm the chef and owner of Tertulia Restaurant here in the West Village. Tertulia is a Spanish restaurant inspired by the cider houses of northern Spain. So they're, they're these great, simple, product-driven, um, convivial neighborhood restaurants, but then kind of seen through the lens of New York. Oh, we're gonna do chops, belly, neck, Beautiful liver, and then beautiful heart. Yeah, this is the idea to leave as little meat on the bone as possible. Like every part of it will get used. I've been cooking pretty much all my life. I started cooking when I was five years old with my grandmother, and I can't really remember a time when I, had, I didn't cook. It's called cojonudo, and that literally means fucking great in Spanish. And the traditional cojonudo is made with quail, fried quail egg with a piece of fried chorizo on bread. So this is kind of our version of it. Instead of doing chorizo, we use a little bacon that we make from pig's cheeks. Cojonudo was the first thing that I ever had in Spain when I first went to Spain when I was 16 years old. I've had a really long love affair with Spanish food and Spanish culture. Uh, I first went to Spain when I was 16. We call it tortilla caliente, which means hot tortilla. This is kind of like a classic tapa snack. So we have some free-range eggs, and I have mushrooms, and I have grilled leeks, a little bit of Iberico lardo, which comes from the Iberico pig. We're using homemade potato chips, which give it a different texture. I lived in Spain for two years in college and worked in a tapas bar there, and really got to know the language and the food and the culture in a way that was really, I mean, totally out of this world for me. I grew up in Vermont, in a small town in Vermont. I, I had things I'd never eaten before, like prawns and langoustines and octopus and all this stuff, and I fell in love with the food. What I saw is that the whole vanguard cooking in Spain was really deeply rooted in traditional cuisine in Spain. So when I came back to New York, I really wanted to open a restaurant that focused on that. We call it arroz a la plancha, which means rice on the plancha. In this dish, you have snails, which eat basil, mushrooms, and celery. And then you have jamón ibérico, which comes from the ibérico pig, which eats snails. And then we're kind of at the top of the food chain, we eat the whole thing. So it's all kind of one dish that has all, that, all those elements in it. I gotta say that I'm very lucky to be able to do every day what I love doing. My job is fortunately something that's, that I really enjoy doing. It's not like punching a clock. So last night I brought three of my best friends along with me. I brought my right hand here at Tertulia. His name is Anoop Joshi. He's an incredibly talented chef. And then I brought um, two of my closest friends, Louis Soma and Colin Clark. And both of these guys I went to high school with, so I've known them for years and years and years. Louis is a, is a lawyer. He seems very buttoned up and uptight, but he's really uh, not at all. You didn't get a roadie, Seamus? Oh, nice we were at you. our friend's bar and he That's had canned beer. No, I didn't, because he told me not to put that on camera. <laughs> I bought this at the <laughs> deli. Sorry. I bought this at the <laughs> deli. No. Can I get reimbursed for this? And Colin is my photographer, and one of my best friends. My roommate at one point, I've known him since he was 12. We go way back. So the four of us figured we'd make a good crew to go out and hit the town. Oh man, yeah. here it comes. Zombie Tomorrow. apocalypse! The zombie apocalypse! We jumped in the car and we drove up to Gotham West Market where our new restaurant is, El Colmado. And El Colmado is a much more of a traditional tapas bar where you sit at the counter, lots of food on display, there's a kitchen behind the counter, and you order stuff, we make it for you, and pass it right over. It's gonna be a really, really fun uh, traditional tapas bar. Take the whole fucking thing. Oh, you heard you read that? Yeah. Some more. you heard that thing? I read that thing. Cheers, 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 cheers. Let's go, you can bring the beers. After that, we jumped in the car and we headed over to Whiskey Soda Lounge. So the whole deal with Whiskey Soda is that it's, um, he has all this like Thai drinking food. So they're little, little sm snacks and spicy shit. Scene of the crime of the original Ring of Fire, AKA Flaming Asshole. <laughs> Speak for your own, asshole. 
So I met Andy Ricker a few years ago. He just opened a place called Whiskey Soda Lounge, which is kind of a Thai-style drinking bar with drinking food. This is a, a squid salad called Yam Plum Muk. It's kind of a classic dressing of palm sugar, lime juice, fish sauce, chilies, garlic. And then that's our sour-cured pork ribs. We ferment for three days with uh, sticky rice and then deep fry it. Andy obviously has he's been going to Thailand for 25 years at least uh, to develop this incredible love affair with Thailand in a way that I sort of developed a love affair with Spain. He's really trying to recreate a traditional food that in many ways is not even very common in Thailand any longer. And interesting that it's coming from somebody who's not Thai. Last year, exactly a year ago, I had a psychedelic experience in Andy's restaurant. On psychedelics? Not on psychedelics at all. My brother and I had just done a seven day fast. We broke our fast at Pak Pak, which is like going from eating nothing to like flavor explosion. It was probably the most sensorial meal I've ever had in my life. Ecstasy, I mean it was like, it was like sex. It was the most amazing thing. It was sex to see. <laughs> That's Jin Thup. Jin means beef or meat in Northern Thai. Thup means to hit. We get like plank steak and you grill it till it's really well done. Then you beat it with a sledgehammer until it kind of nets out. Can I get this medium rare? <laughs> no, will not work. And then you get the uh, pamuk ping, which is the dried squid. The pasta maker cuts it into like the striations. Yeah, it just kind of striates it, you know. So just like little thin strips of it and dip it in the sauce in here. That's great. Woo yeah. You ate like a whole chili, didn't you? Was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> you said you're supposed to mix them together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I got the hiccups too. <laughs> Lewis and I suffered from simultaneous hiccups from eating a super spicy chili that Andy was like, here, you just take a bite of this, it's fine. So we trusted him and took a bite of a little bird's eye chili, which was um, quite hot, to say the least. Cheers. Cheers. You're loud. Every time we hang out, we have a great time. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to Vexler's. We're going to Vexler's, yeah. So Andy jumped in the, the car with us and we headed up the hill to my buddy Rob Vexler's new place called Vexler's. And I've known Rob for years. I've known him for like 15 years. Yeah. Right. You know Andy? Yeah, I knew. He always had this idea of wanting to create a neighborhood bar. And this year he opened Vexler's. Rob's always there. They've got great food. His chef is this kid, Joe, who's great, who actually used to work at Bocaria, my old restaurant. They've got an amazing burger. Fried chicken is phenomenal. This is a very Filipino thing with fried chicken. It's just salt and uh, white vinegar. It just gives it like a nice tang. I'm feeling like it's a little hot. I don't want to injure myself, you know what I mean? Louis, how's that chicken? Do I have cheese in it? Yeah. It's like a Why are you lactose intolerant? No. <laughs> I'm yeah, nothing it's, intolerant. It's I can tolerate everything. Burger's a very good burger. Yeah. The greasier burger, the greasier it is, the better. One of the things I love about the place is it's got this kid, Justin, he's got an, done an amazing job of creating a cocktail list there that's refreshing, unique, and totally down to earth. Yeah, we'll see you, see you again soon. Can I? See you, Ben. Thank you, man. Let's do it. All right. We're going to Tertulia. We're going to go grill some lamb and eat some food. And then we jumped in the car and we all headed back to Tertulia, back to West Village. We're gonna make some grilled lamb, the lamb that we broke down earlier today. And what do you mean by broke down? Did you insult it in the corner until it cried? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> until its, its knees gave out and its wool fell off <laughs> from anxiety. Vaccination! <laughs> Did you not appreciate that? Oh, no, I feel bad because he's a little overweight. Both Lewis and Colin are big Red Sox fans. We saw a gentleman crossing the street wearing a, uh, a Cardinals jacket. And Lewis rolled down the window and heckled him. <laughs> Typical scumbag. All right. And we got here, the guys already had the grill going. Look at this. Some marinated heart. I got a little heart, liver, kidneys. Uh, may I? Please do. This kidney. Wow, it's delicious. That is really good. We made, made a, a really nice paella of lamb, the same lamb that I had been butchering earlier in the night. We took the, the chops and grilled those simply, and then we made this great paella with um, braised neck and lamb, and we used the kidneys and the heart and the liver all got folded to the rice. Oh, still a little crude over That's almost there. It's awful good. And then served a nice little grilled uh, fluke from Spain, linguado, this beautiful little fish on the bone. 
some patatas, classic side dish, and some grilled escarole, and a little bit of, of sidra asturiana, some Asturian cider. Everyone's got beverages? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Oh, mama. Yeah. Mark, come sit down. We may need more plates. Do we have enough plates for everyone? I was just complaining the other day, but nobody does escarole anymore. Roger, pass me a plate. I'll serve you some escarole. Someone else want to dig into that paella? Yeah. I was waiting for the okay. Oh, mama. And this big old piece of liver. Sweet. Mm. It's good. I did not re-season. I did not re-season. Oh, it's fucking good. That is banging.